Welcome to this routine for self-healing. We're going to learn some acupressure points while we're doing some stretches as a self-healing set. This is chi, energy, self-massage. Now, often we don't get enough touch, physical touch, especially during this particular time in our history. We might not be getting as much contact as we normally are. We can do our own physical touch on ourselves for self-healing purposes. I'm gonna teach you some great acupressure points, great ways to activate the energy within your body for a healing effect within. It's important to remember that we all have amazing healing capabilities within ourselves once this chi is activated. So let's start with the hands. We're gonna bring some energy to the hands. There's some great acupressure points on the hands. In fact, most of the most powerful points are from the elbows to the fingertips and from the knees to the feet. Think of acupressure as light switches that turn on the light bulbs of energy within yourself. All right, let's start off with just warming up the hands. What I want you to do is just shake your wrists, palms face up. I often call this Italian Qigong. Clear a little emotional energy. Your heart meridian goes right through the inside of your wrists. So we're just gonna wake up the energy in the hands. Palms face down and shake it out. Get some energy and some circulation into the fingertips and the hands. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax. Good. Now, one of the most important points on your body is large intestine four. It's called hagu, and it's right in the webbing between the thumb and the first finger. So what I want you to do is squeeze in here. This point is most famously known for clearing headaches and it works tremendously well for that. Basically what it does is it's gonna balance the energy in your body. It's gonna to bring too much energy that tends to accumulate in the head, bring it out of the head back into the body for inner balance. So it's a point for balance. It clears the mind, it's therapeutic for headaches. It is called the Tylenol point because it clears pain. It's like uh, your body's anti-inflammatory point. And it's in the webbing of the thumb and first finger. And squeeze in until you find a tender spot. It's closer to the bone. And what I like to do is press and circle. Press and circle. And then do the other side. Press in, circle. Get right into that point. Look for the tender spot. Press with the thumb, circle. Get close to the bone. If you do have a headache, or sinus issues or foggy thinking. This has a, a way in which it helps to balance the body. If you're pregnant, don't use this point because it makes the energy go down, especially in the first trimester. For pregnancy in labor, this is a great point because it helps the baby to come out because it's moving chi downward. Squeeze that point. All right, now knock on the point. You're gonna curl the thumb in. See that bone that sticks out? You're gonna knock on the point. Just knock on one point activate this chi. There's lots of ways to do acupressure. You can massage, you can press, you can knock on a point, you can do it yourself, you can have somebody else do, you, do it for you. Now do the other side. So you're going to open this hand, curl that thumb, you're going to knock with your acupressure tool right here, this bone, right onto the point. Take a deep breath. Now, if you just bring your hands to your lap and feel your chi is activated in your hands. Even that much is very good for your whole entire energy system. Now, there's another point on the outer edge of the pinky finger. This whole area is powerful and it reflects the spine. So this point right above the knuckle is good for your upper back and neck. So I want you to take your first finger, press in, make a little circle right here. It's called the master point of the upper back and neck. It's also good for shoulder pain, clears neck tension. Press in and circle. Now you can come back to these points and massage them longer. I always like to take a few breaths while, we're, while I'm doing the massage. Do the other side. So just above the pinky finger. Press in with the first finger, make a little circle. Take a nice deep breath. You have somewhere around a thousand acupressure points on your body. And we can stimulate those acupressure points 
we go through a series and it creates a flow of energy and an activation of your body's healing capabilities. Now take these points and just knock them together. Stimulate the energy in the hands. One deep breath here. Now bring your hands to your lap. See if your hands are lit up with energy. See if you can feel that buzzing and tingling. Maybe not, it's not only in your hands, but also in your arms. Wonderful. Now, with the hands having all this healing energy, let's direct some energy through the rest of the body. Interlock your fingers like this. Take the hands to the back of your head. With your thumbs, massage your neck. This is a good way to do some neck massage on yourself. You know, it's always nice to have somebody else massage you, give you a nice neck, upper back hand massage. But we don't always have somebody around to give us a massage. So we always have our own self acupressure tools your thumbs, various knuckles. You bring some healing energy to your hands and you self-direct it. This is wonderful healing medicine and it feels good. Go all the way down, down to where the neck and the shoulders meet, the kind of this area where the traps meet the neck. Go all the way down with your thumbs and then you can work your way back up to the cranial base and work right along the cranial base. There's a lot of good acupressure points where the neck meets the skull. This is the bladder meridian, bladder 10, and gallbladder, gallbladder 20 is there. There's another point over here called anmyan, which means good sleep. So these points clear the mind, release neck tension, and promote deep rest and relaxation. Now, with one hand to squeeze the back of your neck, and then the other hand squeeze the back of your neck. Wonderful. Now, with your fingertips, just tap. Tap all those points that you were just massaging. Improve the circulation into those muscles. Right at the base of the skull. Down both sides of the neck. Relax. All right. Feeling good. Let's go continue to move down where there's some great points along the chest for emotional balance. Some of these lung points are great for your immune system. Take your hand and follow your collarbone until it dips in right into the shoulder pocket and just massage in here. This is lungs one and two, the first and second point on the lung meridian. And make little circles here at your chest so the collarbone dips in. You go below, you're on your pectoral muscle. And you're going to just press and circle. And now breathe. Take a nice deep breath. Try the other side. So you're going to come across the collarbone. Collarbone's going to dip into the shoulder, come down, make a little circle here. Improving the energy that circulates through the respiratory system and the immune system. Take a nice deep breath. By the way, you can sit on the floor, you could sit in a chair. A lot of these practices could be done even lying down or standing. So just get comfortable. I'm doing it as a seated practice on the floor. Afterwards, we'll do a short meditation and just feel the effects of this wonderful self-healing massage that you're giving to yourself. Now tap on the point. On the other side, tap on the point. Take a deep breath. Good. And feel those lung points activated with chi, with that life force energy. Take a deep breath. Throughout this whole process, we'll be breathing deeply to improve the energy cultivation through the breath. Then when we stimulate points, there's more energy available within you to circulate for a healing purpose. Now the points along the center of the chest are very powerful for emotional balance and clearing or transforming stress back into vitality. Take your hands like this, so the back of your fingers touch each other. Put them right over your sternum, make a little circle. Make a little circle and massage right along the sternum. And this is a very powerful meridian line. It's called the Ren Meridian, the Sea of Yin. And your yin energy is all about relaxation and flow about being able to go inward and be comfortable within yourself. 
and clearing stress is very important for that. When we clear stress, we prevent problems from arising within our physiology. Massage on all those points and then tap. Let's go up and down on the sternum. Take a nice deep breath here. Relax and see how your upper body feels. Let's feel the sternum and feel the hands, arms, upper back, neck and shoulders. Wonderful. Now let's open the legs, open the legs a little wider. We're going to work on our lower backs and the meridians that flow down the legs. So here, what I want you to do is just massage the lower back. So with your hands, open hand, just massage the lower back down to your tailbone with a little friction. Bring some circulation into these lower back muscles. And then just glide the hands down the outside of the legs. Come around up the inside of the legs and then back to the lower back. Massage. Lean forward a little bit. I'm sitting on a cushion. That helps often with the stretching of the hamstrings. Come down the outside of the legs. Just encourage the energy through the meridians. And we come up the inside of the legs and flow. We'll do that one more time. Rub your kidneys and your lower back. And then flow down the outside, around, through the inside. Now what I want you to do is tap on your lower back, up and down. And a little slap down the outside of the legs, up the inside of the legs. Do that again. Slap down the outside. the inside. Now come down the outside and what I want you to do is find an acupressure point called stomach 36. Now this point is on the lateral side on the outside of your shin just below the kneecap about this many fingers below the kneecap in Chinese medicine how you find the point you put your fingers your four fingers on the outer edge of the kneecap and on the muscle Lateral to the shin is stomach 36. Now, if you wanted to look up stomach 36, you could just Google it and it gives you the location and a picture of it. The other way to find it is if you put your finger on your shin and just glide your finger up, the finger will fall into the point. When it falls off the bone, that's usually where the point is. Lateral side of the shin, kind of the top of the shin area. Right here. Now, stomach 36 is often called uh, the point that gives the body more energy. The name of the point is the three-mile point. You can just massage it with fingertips, middle finger or thumb as I'm talking about it. The three-mile point meant that the hikers and the walkers back in the olden days when you had to make these long journeys, your legs would often give out after 10 miles, 20 miles. And what they would do is they'd stimulate this point and you'd get three more miles out of your legs. So it's a point that energizes the body. It's really good for the immune system and overall health and energy. Great for digestion. Stomach 36 is one of the most widely used acupressure points in Chinese medicine. There's a Qigong master that said, if you stimulate and massage stomach 36 every day, you will live over a hundred years. So that was his claim. Now let's just take your fingertips and thumbs together and just kind of chicken peck that point. Just stimulate that point with the ends of the fingers. That is a great point for energy and immune system and enhances all kinds of functions in your body, especially your digestion. Great. Now take the soles of the feet together and here, what I want you to do is just feel with your thumbs the arches of your foot and just massage right along the arches and stimulate the meridian on the inside of the foot. Now, right along the arches is the spleen meridian. 
and it's the paired organ of the stomach. So we just did stomach 36, and we can balance that with doing some spleen points, good for digestion, and spleen points here on the lower leg and foot are especially good for hormone balance. Now, if you come up the inside of your shin, if you take those four fingers, put it on your ankle bone, that is called your medial inside, malleolus, that's the name of that bone. Put your pinky finger on that bone. Where that fourth finger is, is a point called uh, spleen six, the three yin meeting point. And that is a great point for hormone balance. It's good for sleep, insomnia. It's great for menopausal symptoms, hormones uh, out of balance, PMS or cramps. Now, as you massage it with your thumbs and circle, breathe into it. This point is often done together with stomach 36 for overall energy balance. You feel that it's often a little tender. You press and circle. Now just continue walking your thumbs left and right all the way up the inside of the shins to the knee and then go back down. This meridian line, you can feel it by pushing the muscle away from the bone and you'll feel like a, a trough between the muscle and the bone. Go up and down a couple of times. There are lots of good acupressure points here. And come all the way back down to the feet. Now with your fingertips on the tops of the feet, right between the big toe and the second toe on the top of the foot, that is your liver meridian. And what I want you to do is just circle on the liver meridian between the bones of the first toe, the big toe, and the second toe. There's a little space between those two bones. And right where those bones make a V, that's liver three. And that's a great point for headaches, it's often combined with large intestine four. Good for headaches, clear thinking, and it even helps to lower blood pressure. Massage that point. Great point for clearing emotional stress as well. And then come up the inside of the leg. So instead of being right close to the bone, it's about one finger breadth off the bone. So in the middle of the calf and just massage up and down. Up and down, middle of the calf. That's the liver meridian in general. Lip meridians often zigzag, so we're kind of doing a, a, uh, a, a simplified version. Come to the bottoms of the feet and massage all along the bottoms of your feet. And this is foot reflexology. In Chinese medicine, they have microsystems, meaning that one part of your body reflects the whole. So when you massage the bottoms of the feet, it reflects the internal organs, the spine, and the rest of the body. So you get yourself a full body energetic stimulation by massaging the feet. Now the kidney meridian comes by your Achilles tendon and just must massage, do some acupressure up the back of the calf and back down. You can do that a couple of times. Remember, if you like any particular part of this chi self-massage routine, you can just do that part more or more frequent. Massage the bottoms of the feet. Wonderful. Now sit with your legs crossed. Go ahead and tap your chest. Take a deep breath. Tap on your kidneys, up and down on your lower back. Tap right below the navel or right over the navel. Take a deep breath. Relax and bring your hands together in your lap. Close your eyes. And take a few slow, deep breaths, just feeling the effects of that chi self-massage in your whole system. Nice, slow, deep breathing, feeling your energy activated, your pressure points stimulated, healing energy circulating 
flowing within you. Breathe slow and deep. And you can continue breathing deep, slow, going into a nice meditation. If you wanted to lie down and take a nap, it's an excellent time to do so. I hope you enjoyed that. You just did something very healthy for your mind and your body. Congratulations.